Welcome to IT Spark channel. Today I'm going to tell you about how to implement method overwinding. We have to already create the samples, but right now we have to how not to the basic concept behind for this word. Method overriding a base class method is a drive class by creating a method with the same name and parameters using virtual and override keyword. Other words you can say that method overriding means having two methods with same name and same signatures parameters. One should be the base class and another one is the child class or you can say the drive class. You can override the functionality of a base class method to create same name method with same signature in a drive class. You can achieve method overriding using inheritance. Virtual and override keywords are used to achieve method overriding. Okay. So the in this structured hierarchical representation we see that method overriding lie into the dynamic runtime hierarchy. So now it's time to check coding. We have already set these all settings. First of all we have to set this basic example. First of all we create a cashier class with CM okay cashier machine means class simply class default constructor nothing is going in this method and this is a virtual keyword in this method cashier and takes two input simple very simple method virtual keyword it's indicate method overriding and uh, these are three lines console dot white lines printing something number one num one num two Num1 represent total amount and num2 represent cash which is give a customer or which is give for client you can say for the cashier recipient okay this is a very 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 common example and this same method name with the same parameter and with the same data types this methods create for the other class which is called calculation This is the two integers for user input, and you know that for these four lines, we have them in the C sharp basic C sharp. Okay, now again we call CM new cashier machine, and, and this one is a method for cashier machine, which is overview for for the class. This one method. Now it's time to take move on the next class which is calculation and same name method cashier and inherit this default constructor nothing is going on and this is over right keyword and same name method same parameters in point number one integer number two and Printing something and the result num1 minus num2, num2 minus num1. Sorry, and this is the remaining amount for the client side, which is going to cash. Okay, so it's time to check for the first one cashier method is for cashier machine, and the second one cashier method is for going on the uh, calculation method. So as you think you understand for this good concept. Now execute code we type total amount hundred dollar and user cash for five hundred dollar and now enter so the remaining cash which is written for four hundred dollar as you see. Thank you so much for watching this is a very simple guideline as you say. See you for next time.